All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to continue discussing Module 4A, uh, which is talking about the scientific study of problem solving. Uh, and in this particular video, I'm going to talk about uh, another uh, phenomenon associated with problem solving, which is the phenomenon of mental set. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started talking about mental set. Okay, so the next problem I asked you guys to solve is something called the water jar problem, right? So basically the objective with this problem is to uh, end up with the desired quantities uh, specified in the rightmost column there using only the three jars that you're given, right? Um, so as far as solutions to this problem, uh, many of you might have noticed that all of the problems can be solved by the following formula. You see, so you start with B, you subtract A, and then you subtract two of C. Right? So B minus A minus 2C. That formula will solve all of the problems that you were given, all eight of the problems. Fewer of you might have noticed or might, um, might have noticed that there's a much simpler solution for problems seven and eight. So for problem seven, you can simply add A and C together. And for problem eight, you can subtract them. So number seven is eight, A plus C, and number eight is A minus C, right? But like I said, it's, it's very likely that most of you never noticed that there was a much simpler solution for seven and eight and instead chose to solve or chose to solve all of the problems using the same formula, right? So this is another illustration of how prior experience doing something can actually impede successful problem solving or at least make it less efficient. So the water jar problem illustrates something called mental set. Right? So mental set is, is um, simply the tendency to think of a problem in a typical or customary way, even when a better solution is available. Right? So let's look real quick at some experiments right, that gave this problem to participants to see how well they could solve it and what solutions they applied to it. Okay, so the first psychological experiment using this particular problem, the water jar problem, was conducted by Lechens in 1942. And he basically compared two different groups of participants. So his first group of participants, he called the mental set condition. And in that condition, he first did uh, problem one of the eight that you guys just solved. He did problem one for the participants as a demonstration, right? So this was considered the mental set group because it already established the B minus A minus 2C rule, right? Um, so it already gave participants prior experience using that rule, right? Um, and in the no mental set group or the control group, participants just solved problems seven and eight without any of the earlier problems or without a demonstration, right? So they started with problems seven and eight um, and had no prior experience with the B minus A minus two C solution, right? And what he found, the result 
was that only 23% of the participants in the mental set group used the simpler solution for problems seven and eight, but all of the participants in the no mental set group used the simpler solution. So again, what this illustrates is that prior experience are having used a solution to a particular problem in the past, right, can make us less able to find and utilize simpler solutions in the future. Right? So again, just like with functional fixedness, mental set shows us that prior experience can sometimes impede effective or efficient problem solving.